everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day today. So today's video is a makeup for glasses do's and don'ts style of video. I have been, <laughs> I feel like I say this in so many videos, but I've had so many requests to do a makeup for glasses video and I've never ended up doing it. It's always kind of been on my to-do list, but I never got around to doing it. And then I got around to doing it because, and this is all thanks to glassesusa.com, they contacted me and said, do I want to work with them? And I was like, you know what? Yes, I do because I've been meaning to do this video for so long. And so we have collaborated. So thank you so much glassesusa.com for working with me on this video. I am currently wearing a pair of glasses, spectacles so I can see from glassesusa.com. The style that I'm wearing right now, these ones are called the Otto Toto Venus glasses and I love them because they're rose gold. So I do wear glasses. You guys will probably have seen on my Instagram stories and Snapchat and vlogs, things like that. I need to wear glasses for when I'm editing any work on the computer. If I'm not wearing my glasses, prescription glasses, everything's a blur to me. So I can't see up close very well, but I also can't see far away things very well. So I don't even know like what that is even called. Nearsightedness, farsightedness or both. The good thing about glasses at USA.com is that you can choose any of their frames and lenses and put your own prescription lens into it. So if you've got your eyes tested and you know what your prescription is, you can fill that out on the website and they will make the glasses with your particular prescription in them, which is so handy. You can kind of customize your own glasses that way and I think it looks really cool. If you guys don't know what glassesusa.com is, is it's a website that has over 4,000 different styles of eyeglasses and sunglasses. And because it goes direct from the website to you, um, they only do it by online shopping, they cut out the middleman, which means that you pay far less for your glasses. Because if you guys have ever purchased, especially spectacles before, you'll know they're very expensive, especially when you need to get your prescription lenses put in. So glassesusa.com goes straight to you guys and so it cuts out the middleman that you would have in a retail shop and that way you end up with about 70% off regular retail prices which is amazing. Glassesusa.com's whole ethos is that eyewear shouldn't break the bank and I love that because it's not your fault if you end up having to wear glasses and you shouldn't have to spend a fortune getting nice fashionable comfortable glasses that you actually like that help you see better. They've got loads of brands online so you will still find your favorite brands. They've got everything from from Ray-Ban to Gucci to Armani to Oakley and they've also got their home brands as well so if you don't want to spend a fortune on your glasses you don't have to and you'll still get exceptionally gorgeous glasses like, like this pair right here this is one of the home brand ones but these are my favorite glasses that I got in my whole haul they also have a hundred percent money-back guarantee so you'll get a full refund within 14 days of delivery and a 365 day product warranty so I got seven different pairs of glasses I got three spectacles so I can see and I got four pairs of sunglasses I'm going to link every style that I'm about to show you in the description box down below. So if you like any of the styles, they will all be directly linked down below so you can find them nice and easily. is a makeup for glasses do's and don'ts video. There's already so many videos on how to do makeup for glasses so what I thought I would do instead is kind of go through the common do's and don'ts for wearing makeup with glasses to get the most out of your glasses and have your makeup and glasses mesh together really well and have the whole look be really complimentary. Because there are a few little things you want to avoid when it comes to wearing glasses as I'm sure anyone that actually wears glasses will know. So without further ado I'm going to get straight into the do's and don'ts and I really hope you guys are going to find this helpful. Tip number one. In the morning when you sit down to do your makeup stop for a second and think about whether you're going to be wearing glasses that day. Could be spectacles to help you see or sunglasses. If you are going to be wearing glasses at any point throughout the day, what you want to do is take note of where the sunglasses touch your face. So today I plan on wearing these sunglasses so I'm going to stop and I'm going to take note of whereabouts they actually sit on my skin. So these ones touch just here 
on my nose and that's the only spot they hit. They actually don't touch my cheeks at all. They just touch my nostrils here. I also know that I need spectacles to see so if I'm going to be doing any kind of editing or anything like that, I'm going to need to wear glasses. So these ones touch a separate area altogether. These ones have little, uh, what do you call these things in the middle of sunglasses that sit in your nose? They've got them anyway. So they sit just up there high on the bridge of my nose. So if your glasses rest on your cheeks or your nose, you want to take note of that exact area and apply less makeup there. We want to avoid that dreaded foundation rub off. You know when you've been wearing your sunglasses or spectacles and you end up with those like red patches here or just your foundation's completely missing there? We want to avoid that. The less makeup you have on the areas that your glasses touch your face, the less chance you have of your makeup rubbing off. But I do have an extra hack coming up at the end of the video to help you with that if you still can't get rid of it. So I'm going to apply my foundation all over my face, but I'm going to avoid the areas that I know my glasses touch, and I'm going to apply a much smaller amount there. The foundation I'm using is my favorite. It's the Cover FX Power Play Foundation. This foundation is absolutely epic. The coverage is insane. I've got extremely oily skin, and it sits so well even on my skin. And it's cruelty-free and vegan, and you've got 35 mils in it. One mistake people make when they're wearing makeup with glasses is they don't set their foundation in place with powder. You want to make sure that you do set your foundation in place with powder, because if you don't, your foundation's going to be kind of wet on your skin, and then wherever your glasses touch your skin, the glasses will more easily wear away your makeup. However, if you set your foundation in place with powder, it gives you an extra defense basically against glasses makeup wear off. The powder I'm using is this one here. It's my absolute favorite. It's only a new one for me, but it's awesome. This is the Urban Decay All Night Out Waterproof Setting Powder. You don't have to wear powder on your entire face if you don't want to, but I do definitely recommend that you set in place the areas that you know your glasses are going to touch on your skin. You can just use a little brush like this just so you can like kind of spot powder if you want to. This one is the little setting brush from Real Techniques. Depending on what kind of glasses or lenses you have, they may kind of shrink what's behind them. You know, kind of like Moaning Myrtle or Anne Hathaway in The Princess Diaries. And it can make your eyes look really beady and small. So what we want to do to stop that happening is to emphasize our eyes. So what I'm going to do is go in with a top eyeshadow. This one is Desert Sands from Makeup Geek. So I'm just going to use this shade on a Sigma E25 to gently define the crease of the eye or the socket of the eye if you have hooded eyes. This is legit one of the best crease colors for eyes. Again, for the people in the back row, it's Desert Sands from Makeup Geek. So pigmented, so matte, I love it. Now I'm going in with a brightening eyeshadow. This one is White Lies, also from Makeup Geek. And I'm going to use this shade to highlight my lid, the inner corner of my eye, and the arch of my brow bone. This little highlighting and contouring trick of the eyes will make our eyes look bigger and more awake underneath our glasses. Then to define our eyes even more, I'm going to go in with a winged liner. For that, I'm going to use a Sigma winged eyeliner pen in the color Wicked. Another don't when it comes to makeup for glasses is try to avoid wearing big false lashes, especially the big dramatic strip kind of false lashes. These lashes can be just that little bit too big for glasses and can uncomfortably hit against your lenses, which will irritate your eyes. So for your lashes, I'd go in with a light sweep of your favorite mascara, preferably volumizing rather than lengthening. With almost all of my sunglasses and spectacles, you can always see my eyebrows peeping up over the top. And if I don't have them done, like right now, I just I feel like I don't look put together or something. So to fill in my brows, I'm gonna go in with the Sigma Brow Powder on this angle brush from Nude by Nature. My next tip is to match your lip color for the day with the glasses that you wanna wear during that same day. If you plan on wearing your spunky red cat eye sunnies, probably don't go in with a purple lip because the two colors are gonna clash. However, if you have only kind of neutral or black sunnies in your collection, then of course you can wear whatever lip color you wanna wear and it's not gonna clash. However, if you don't know what sunnies or spectacles you're gonna wear throughout the day, then I recommend you go in with a neutral or nude lip. That way you know your lip color is gonna complement any glasses that you choose to wear. The lip color I'm wearing is Quick Step Cream Stain from Makeup Geek. And it's such an awesome neutral color, I love it. I also love these spectacles. How cute are they, they're rose gold. Now what I'm gonna do is finish off the rest of my makeup. The rest of your makeup doesn't really matter because it doesn't really come into play with how your glasses wear with it. Then when I come back, I'm gonna show you my extremely handy little hack for preventing glasses foundation wear off. Okay guys, drum roll, it's time for my favorite tip. This is my favorite because I figured it out 
all by myself because I used to suffer so badly. In fact, I think you guys probably saw in one of my old videos, not old videos, but a video from a couple of months ago, I was doing like a foundation review and at the end of the day, I came to like catch up with you guys and show you how the foundation had worn, but I'd been wearing my glasses and I was missing foundation from here and here so badly. Like you could just see my naked skin underneath. So yeah, my foundation, if I wore glasses, it was just gone. Didn't matter if there were sunglasses, didn't matter if there were spectacles, didn't matter what brand it was. If I wore glasses, I had red kind of marks here and my foundation was gone. So I devised this little hack by myself purely because I was trying to figure out how I could stop my own foundation from separating. So I'm gonna share it with you guys. What you wanna do is take a little piece of breathable material. I use a little round of cotton wool. You know, just those little like cotton wool rounds that you get from like Tesco or the grocery shop or chemist or something like that. And you wanna cut a little section off, just enough to cover the point of your glasses that hits your nose. So you obviously wanna measure this first so you know whereabouts your glasses actually hit your nose. I'm just using little nail scissors to cut mine. I find that's easiest. So then you have this tiny little bit of breathable cotton wool. Next, you want to take a little bit of a strong eyelash glue. The one I'm using is just a clear eyelash glue from House of Lashes, but it doesn't really matter which one you choose to use. Put a tiny amount of eyelash glue exactly where you're going to stick your little cotton round, exactly where the glasses hit your nose. I personally find it's easiest to use tweezers for this bit. I just get tweezers and my tiny little bit of cotton round, and then I stick it to the glue as neatly as possible. Obviously do the same for the other side. And once you start doing this like, you know, a few times, you can just use the same cotton round every time and it makes it easier each time you do it to cut little like teeth almost out of the cotton round. Now you should have just enough cotton on that you can't really see it, but when you have your glasses on, it just adds that cushiony effect. And because the cotton is breathable, you're not going to sweat in that spot between the glasses and your skin. And if you don't sweat there and the glasses aren't rubbing against your actual skin, then your makeup isn't going to separate and your foundation isn't going to rub off. At the end of the day, should you want to remove your little cushions, all you have to do is gently peel off the eyelash glue and the cotton and your glasses remain in perfect condition. And so does your makeup. So there we go guys, that was my makeup for glasses do's and don'ts. I hope you found those tips and tricks helpful. I had so much fun creating this video. I'm so in love with all my glasses. I'm actually excited to wear glasses now and I never was before. I used to dread putting my glasses on because I knew it was going to wreck my makeup and I didn't particularly like my old frames to be completely honest. So like I said at the start of the video, I will link all the styles that I got including my sunnies, my spectacles, everything in the description box down below so you can check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!